Hello, my dwellers of the multiverse, and welcome back to another anime analysis video. Since you all liked my last analysis on Steamed Hams, today we will be doing a very mysterious and very overpowered character in the M&M's universe. Who am I referring to, of course? The Red M&M. Now you might be thinking, He's just a sleazy New Yorker, you know, he has no special abilities, he was just, he, you know, he's just a John Doe type of character. Well, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that there's nothing special about this luscious, red, round, tasty piece of candy. Now, he is a very good anime character. Why? He has everything. He is a husbando. He is, he has the letter M on his chest. There's so much, he's red, we can, he has eyeballs, we can go into this, we can go into this anime analysis here. You know, I haven't done one of these in a while, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. Now, as you all recall from the actual, uh, you know, Eminem's anime plot, the red Eminem is very strong, you know, he's, He's an intellectual, of course. The man watches Rick and Morty. He knew Stephen Hawking personally, RIP by the way. And I mean, most of all, the man can engineer anything. Have you seen how many games and, and things the M&Ms have been in? That's all because of him. He engineered the cars the when they went golfing, when they went racing. I don't know what the M&Ms do. There's so many games. You, okay, let's let's look at a clip. If you don't believe how intelligent the Red M and M is, let's look look at look at a clip from this amazing plot of this game that I'm eventually going to play for the channel. Look at this clip, and do not tell me that the Red M and M is not a mastermind genius. At least I got something right. But 120 candies have been ejected all over the factory. What can we do about it, Red? Well, first up, I need to unlock the entry doors to each sector of the factory with my security key. Then, to turn off the security system so you guys can get in, I also need to unlock the security doors at the end of each sector. Sounds tricky! Yeah, the other complication is the new high-tech candy lock system I recently installed for extra security. Candy lock means that even my security keys can't open sector doors until there are a certain number of M&Ms in the candy collector. The number of candies needed is different for each sector and should be displayed on the door itself. Okay, I get it now. Can you remember all that, Yellow? You know, tidying that gym was so tiring. Now what do you think of that folks? The Red M&M is an intellectual. He is strong as well. He's not only, you know, brain, he's also brawn. He's both meshed into one. Be gone, fuck! Look at this handsome husbando. Look at his strength. The things that he can do would surprise you. I mean, the man's made out of chocolate, but it's just because he's so sweet. Um, there's not much else to say about him. He's an intellectual. He's strong. He, you know, he's a god. He will never die. He really will never die. Alright, so now we're getting into the actual appearance of him. Now, you see, there's a lot of references here. First being that he's red, of course. Uh, that is a reference to Motu, as I said before, but that does not mean that they're the same character. He is red just like Motu from the anime Motu Potlu. So, they might have some, you know, things in common, but as far as them being the same person, I've already thrown that theory out there. It is, it's not true, it's fallacious theory. I'm sorry guys, I can't find any evidence. If you can find any evidence to support this theory, I, I would like to hear it. Because it's the opposite, you know, the, Motu is stupid, uh, Potlu is smart, you know, and the yellow M&M is dumb, and the red one is, like, smarter, so it's the opposite. It doesn't really work, guys. It, uh, merely means that, uh, inspiration was drawn. You see the M on his chest. Now, you might be thinking, oh, uh, you know, this is the M&M's. Well, you're retarded. You're, you're stupid. What the M on his uh, chest actually stands for is mercy. Uh, why mercy? Because he, he is not a kind M&M. He can be very cruel if he would like to. You see, the reason he is red 
you know, I said as a reference to Motu, but then again, it is also a reference to communism and the, uh, you know, the red flags and the, you know, everything communistic. Uh, he, he was also best friends with Stalin. That's where they got the idea to uh, have communism be associated with red. Um, it, it's all in the uh, manga, if you guys have read the M&M's manga. It's very... It, not necessarily all of it is canon. Some of it's a part of the expanded universe. Um, so, of course, not all of it is canon. But, like I said, there are a lot of stories in there. and I, I would advise you guys to check it out sometime. Anyways, we have went over the color of red, the M&M. But we've also went over the M on his chest. Now we need to go over other parts. Alright, so you might be thinking, why does the M&M have like human human uh, arms and legs? Well, he is a human. He is a humanoid being. He just happens to be an M&M. Yeah, it sucks. He got screwed over by uh, the Wizen, uh, G G Ganon, I mean Gargamel, Ganondorf, same thing. Uh, so he put a curse on the red M&M. Or when he used to just be Fry from Future Rob, as you can tell, the voices are very similar. It's an anime crossover type of thing. It was a, it was an episode back in season three, I remember, where all three animes, you know, the Smurfs, uh, Futurama, and M&Ms all crossed over, and you know, a lot of interesting things happened. It was a very psychological season. Uh, it was very climactic, and I recommend you guys go on. A Hulu, you need Hulu Plus to watch the. M&M's anime. Sorry guys, you, you, if you just have regular Hulu, you're not gonna be able to. Sorry, so it sucks to suck. And you can't watch it on Crunchyroll, it's Hulu Plus exclusive. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying, that was the curse that was put on him by Gargamel, okay? Alright, so, now we are going to be going into his eyes. Well, just his eyes, there's nothing else to say about them really. Um, he, he was given life by Lord Shrek, yes. But that is about it as far as his appearance. Now, you see those nice kicks that he has on his feet? You see them J's on the red M&M? Well, um, those shoes are actually the white vans. You see, those are those are actually Daniel's white vans. Uh, the red M&M stole them in the Battle of Memes back in, uh, about, I think, 1652, which was uh, in the manga as well. Um, that's actually not canon, like I said, there's a lot of expanded universe lore with the M&Ms, so I would take that with a grain of salt, but they possibly are Daniel's, uh, vans, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt, like I said, but, uh, yeah, that's about all that can be analyzed about the red M&M. Now, there's more, there's gotta be more, but they don't give me enough to work with here, you know, but if you guys find any more information regarding this character, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's make an M&M's wiki. It probably already exists. But if it doesn't, uh, let's make it. And next time, we'll do something else. Just put it in the comments, and I will get to it eventually. Now, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to dislike, not comment, and unsubscribe, and flag my videos for more quality content. Have a nice day. Uh, stay frosty.